general concept for the game came from the short story Cities in the Sky. Um, we interpreted different parts of the story and um, put it in our game. So in the story it talked about different levels of society, so we interpreted that as physical levels. So the poorer people and the criminals get sent down to um, level zero, which is effectively Earth. And then um, the richer people are in a utopia, in a floating city that's floating above Earth. They also talked about um, a river port, so we said that that was the port in between um, the two levels. And um, they also said about the stars changing when the city changes. So when the, the um, city above changes, um, and then it's like the stars are changing for um, the people on Earth below. So the game centres around Marco. Um, he's this middle-aged man who lived um, in Andrea, um, which is this wealthy high-rise city uh, floating in, in, in the air, basically, above what is known as level zero. Um, Marco suffers like a serious setback. He's uh, accused of uh, fraud and propaganda, uh, and is banished to serve a life sentence in what is known as level zero, which is a sort of hellhole a dystopian like world basically um, and it's set yeah, within the shadows of Andrea uh, when Marco reaches level zero in the game um, it comes as a big shock uh, to him obviously that it's like ghastly and it's really horrendous um, it's a big change obviously from Andrea which is this like beautiful technological vibrant city with much beauty in terms of architecture and everything as Andrea obviously requires all this energy to keep it preserved at this really nice place, um, it sources its energy from level zero, uh, which is uh, sourced from like these cr like criminals, which are, which are enslaved basically down there. Um, so they're there basically powering the city above. Um, so it's all very corrupt in that respect because like you, you, it's like very utopian and it's like the perfect world above, and then below it's like dystopian and it's like terrible and it's like a, a big hellhole, so it's like a big juxtaposition between the two. And the, the game sort of centres around um, yeah, Marco, and he's like trying to escape from level zero because he's been wrong, wrongly convicted. So he's trying to escape, and the only way to escape is through this energy portal which the energy is transported through. Uh, so, so he sort of uh, forms like an uprising in level zero uh, to then go up to level one and then basically fight evil and 
sort, of, sort the corruption out. Uh, within the game there's a certain hierarchy of the importance of the characters. Marco is found amongst the criminals and the mutants who uh, live and work on level zero. Also on level zero are the guards who patrol and look after the mutants and the criminals. Um, on level one are the civilians and the heads of the corporations who work in the buildings. Marco and the mutants all have ruined and tattered clothing. The guards are in metallic and black armour and the heads of the corporation all wear suits as well as the civ civilians. So throughout this game you can really get a great feeling for what Marco is going through as he, you play through the missions and the, all of the great detailed levels. Um, with this game you really get the sense of Marco's emotions as he's going through the levels. Um, it's such an exciting game and it's really not one to be missed.